Hello, Tina um, West Bradford. Um, I'd like to address the um, DASD uh, site, website, and curriculum um, that's listed on the website. It is very outdated and not very transparent. For example, the curriculum outline listed for third grade health class is only one page and does not list all of the topics that are discussed in the classroom. The actual curriculum is 20 pages long with full details. The curriculum includes talks and or videos of over the counter and prescription medications, the difference between medicines and illicit drugs, effects of being exposed to tobacco products, risks associated with inappropriate use of prescription medicines, and the effects of alcohol use. All the topics that we can speak to our children about. I'm not denying the fact. It's just age inappropriate. And the summary page that was last revised that is posted on the website was in 2010. Yet the curriculum that was sent by the teacher was updated in 2017. That's a seven year difference to not disclose what's on the curriculum to parents. It is the same for seventh and eighth grade outlines and curriculums. The outlines are not transparent with the topics being discussed. Nowhere on the outlines state sexuality or pronouns, yet they're discussed in seventh grade. Nowhere on the eighth grade health outline does it state there will be a discussion in a video about anal sex. Anal sex, if I have to say it again, for 13 year olds who I don't really think are having anal sex, I don't know, perhaps whoever has the curriculum has children that's doing that. Yet, if you are not going to post the full curriculum, at the very least, we're asking for transparency. Have the outlines properly updated to reflect the current curriculum. Parents are entitled to full transparency and should know exactly what is being taught in the classroom so they can have further conversations with their children if needed. But more importantly, the ability to opt their children out. Thank Tina, you. Tina, thank you.